Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars, but with a twist. A blast from the past with Walk Back Wednesday. Let's do it. Our first one is from something Reddit like. I've seen that. Hey there, this is the lady in the wheelchair, Miss Beggy. Look, you ordered me boneless chicken, girl. I cannot eat that. Please give me a call on this lady's phone, baby. I'm not going to eat it. It's nasty. I need some bones in my chicken, baby. That's what I told you and maybe you misunderstood me. So call this lady phone back. I'm right here at Buffalo Wing. If I gotta miss another bus and wait on you, I'm gonna wait. Okay, bye. We gonna keep calling, okay? I'm so sorry. You don't have to worry about coming back. My manager said she got it. I would say that I'm shocked that, I don't know, somebody actually got something and in the end it wasn't good enough and they need to complain about it, but I'm really not because through and through this person's a choosing beggar. This next one is by Paging Mr. Tom Morrow. Still looking for a baby swing. Literally nobody responded to my texts. <laughs> Hopefully I'm able to get one soon. Looking for one similar to this one sends pick of $189.99 swing. I'd imagine nobody replied to your post because they don't have one available. Hope you find what you're looking for. The thing is, they don't state whether they're willing to pay for one or not. My guess is they're looking for something free, because if they were willing to pay, they could easily get the one they posted. This next one is from Deleted. Don't know if this is allowed, but I'm looking for a babysitter to watch my one-year-old at my place. I'm wanting to pay $20 a day, and if they could help me get to work and back, I would pay extra, so $30 a day. While training, it will be 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. After training is over, it will be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday from 2 p.m. till my dad gets home sometime around 9.30 or 10 p.m. Please, I'm needing the help as soon as possible. I start working November 6th. $20 a day for full-time work just isn't going to cut it. And then if they have to drive you to and from your work, I mean, you're giving them 30 a day. That's still not going to cut it for full-time work that you're asking of somebody else. This next one is by Beth Cano. Is anyone willing or able to help me this Saturday? I got some equipment I need to carry and I need help with that. I need someone free the whole day. I cannot pay anything, unfortunately, as my account is empty right now, but may be able to reimburse the travel expenses at the end of November. Inbox me of email, beggarskeepbegging at gmail.com. Thanks. I can see a lot of support in the music scene. I will make sure to remember names. Word of advice, you probably can't expect someone to commit a whole day of their weekend and not get paid for it. Rody tour manager needed the 11th of November 2024. Location, Leeds, London. You must be based in Leeds or London. Duties, helping the artists carry the equipment. Assistance with luggage when needed. Must be free the whole day. Must be reliable and punctual. Must be based in Leeds or London. You must be fit and able to move, lift, musical instruments, and speaker. Experiencing with touring is preferred, as well as technical knowledge of sound mixing and sound engineering experience would be a plus. We can provide you references. This can be a great experience for you if you want to build your portfolio. The event will be filmed and there will be cameras, press, etc. More info provided when you apply for the position. This is not a paid position, but we may be able to reimburse your travel expenses. Send an email to beggarskeepbegging at gmail.com. I feel like that comment on the Facebook post hit the nail on the head. I mean, if you're not going to pay somebody, do you really expect somebody to help you all day long doing laborious things? It seems beggars do. This next one is from Kalina788. Maybe this won't get published because I'm posting half an hour after midnight, but worth a shot. I'm looking for a reliable babysitter for my boys. Two and four meals. I'd prefer it in my home. I've tried other homes and I just get too stressed. 
I'm not a business, hence why I'm not legally obligated to pay minimum wage, but I do pay $10 an hour for one boy and $15 an hour for both. Seems cheap, but with my appointments, it adds up quick. If you're looking for long hours and big bucks, you won't find that babysitting as it's a side gig. Just wanted to point those facts out before I get hate mail. That being said, must be a non-smoker, be okay with doing a background check, and first aid CPR for infants is a must. I'm looking to find one main sitter so I don't have to leave my children with strangers. I have many frequent appointments that I can't bring my kids to, so a flexible schedule is very helpful. I pay in full on the 20th and the 1st. Hoping to find a Christian, but not necessary, in Millwoods. I will PM you. I could try to help you out a little. You're not a business, hence why you're not legally obligated to pay minimum wage. Hmm, wow. Your post is very demanding, and you're not paying for the childcare sitter qualifications like you demand they have. Hire a pet monkey, then. Don't get me wrong, I'm not unsympathetic to the plights of having to deal with paying for childcare. I understand how expensive it is, but it makes me cringe when I see people that try to use every justification to not pay somebody what they're worth. And in this case, somebody saying they're not a business, so they're not legally obligated to pay a minimum wage. This next one is by Only My Dog Loves Me. Um, okay, well, this is a post we've debated all night, but here we go. If anyone wants to register for Taylor Swift in Van, December 6th to 8th, 2024, today before midnight, and gets a code to buy tickets, and then goes through the hassle of getting tickets and buys four to transfer to me and my Taylor-loving friends, I'll gift you ten pizzas! You can get in touch with me at begging, keep begging, never stopping at gmail.com. I've heard stories that tickets to a Taylor Swift concert are ridiculous in how much they cost, so I don't understand how 10 pizzas would equate to the cost of tickets, on top of if you have to pay any transfer fees or things like that. But beggars are pretty damn delusional, and it explains why they debated all night on posting that. And our final one is from PhilMill27. Hi there, I'm looking for someone to sublease my entire place from December 17th until the 9th of January. 24 days. Price is reduced to $1,500 because you would be looking after my two kitties, which are the sweetest, so liking cats and some experience with them is a must. The place is amazing. Lots of light, outdoor space, parking spot, laundry, and walking distance to the Echo Park, Lake, and Sunset Boulevard, where a lot of restaurants and venues are. If you like cats and feel this is a good fit, shoot me a DM. Thank you. I'm genuinely curious what the rent would be if it wasn't reduced and if you didn't have to look after the cats. Outside of that, I'm still confused why somebody would want to leave their cats with somebody that they don't know, that the cats don't know. I, I don't know. Lots of unknowns with this one. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.